Alright guys, welcome back to this Kiwi MD video series. In this video, we are going to learn about navigation drawers and how to add them to your mobile application. If you don't know what a navigation drawer is, you probably already have seen it a lot of times. It basically is this toolbar and it has this icon of menu and when you click on this menu icon, this slides out, this thing slides out and you can see all of the different things inside this menu item and this basically, this functionality is known as the navigation drawer functionality. And we'll be combining a lot of things that we have learned in the previous videos to create this navigation door functionality. So first thing we are going to cover is this toolbar which you learned in the previous video. And then this is adding an image and then this is adding labels. And over here we are adding a list with different icons over here. So you can see that we have learned all of this knowledge in the previous videos and we'll be combining a lot of them in this video. So let's get started. And the first of all, we need to see what is the flow or what is the structure to create a navigation drawer. And this is basically the simple structure. We first create the screen, then we add the navigation layout and then the rest of the things. And these th these four things, screen box layout, MD toolbar plus widget, we did in the last video. That is we created a simple toolbar that stays on the top. And these three things will be different. So let's get started and look at the main code that we have done till now. So what I've done over here is because we'll be using the builder method. So I've already imported the builder functionality and because we want to test on a mobile phone, I'm changing the size of my window. And then I've created a simple string called as a navigation underscore helper. And then I've simply loaded the string and we have already covered this builder method. So I'm not going to go into it again. So let's look at our flow and start creating our multi line string. So first we need our screen, then navigation layout and then screen manager. So let's get started. We are just going to write screen over here and this will be automatically imported. We don't need to do anything about it. And then we need to add a navigation layout. So I'm just going to go with that. And then after that, and make sure your indentations are correct. Otherwise it's not going to work. And then after navigation layout, we need a screen manager, which basically manages different screens. So I'm just going to write screen manager over here. And then inside a screen manager, we basically are going to create the toolbar that we learned how to do in the last video. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go to my GitHub. That is Atria Bhatt, Kiwi MD Basics and go to this repository of Kiwi MD Basics and then go to this toolbar directory and inside this you'll be able to find different examples of a toolbar. Just click on this main.py and this is basically the code of what how we created our uh, toolbar in the last video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the screen and I'm just going to paste this inside our uh, code. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here. So this is basically the code for creating our toolbar that is at the top with this icon over here. So let's format everything properly so that it doesn't give us an error and uh, it looks pretty good. We won't be needing the right hand side icons. We only need the left hand side menu icon. So I'm going to be removing this uh, right hand side icon. So let me just copy this and edit it from here and let's paste it on a new line. And I'm just going to change this elevation to maybe 10 so that it looks a little bit better. So now that we have created that, uh, let's go back to our flow and see what's remaining. So after that, also under navigation layout, we also need this MD navigation drawer. So let's also add that. So I'm just going to copy this from here, MD navigation drawer and uh, wherever our screen manager is. So for example, our screen manager lines up with this line. So I'm just going to paste our MD navigation drawer over here. And then after colon, I'm just going to give it an ID for right now. And I'm just giving it an ID because we need to call this ID from here, from our left action items button. So for example, whenever we click on this menu button, then this MD navigation drawer will be automatically called and this will slide out. And you will know what I'm talking about in just a second. So for right now, I'm just going to give it an ID of nav underscore uh, drawer. And then to open up our navigation drawer, what we are going to do is whenever our menu button is clicked, instead of this app dot navigation bar, we are going to call this nav underscore drawer. So let's copy this and paste it over here. And then we want it to toggle. So for example, whenever we click on this, it opens up and whenever we close and click or touch our mouse or our screen, on a mobile phone with our fingers, then it closes down. And that basically means toggling. So we want it to toggle to so open up and close. So that is why we are going to use the toggle functionality that is inside Kiwi MD. So you're just going to write toggle underscore nav underscore drawer. And you don't need to worry about these things, how these functions uh, use or how they work because Kiwi MD has already provided them in build. So what happens over here is that our MD toolbar has been created and whenever we click on our menu icon, then it goes to this nav underscore drawer that is over here. 
and this basically contains our uh, slide and all of the items inside our navigation drawer and it makes sure that it toggles our navigation drawer that is whenever we click on it it opens it up and whenever we click somewhere else it closes it down so now let's run our main.py file let's close this one down and let's run our main.py file to see how it looks so now you can see that actually our toolbar is at the bottom and this is because we want to add another functionality over here known as the widget so you can see there is this one thing remaining wherever our md toolbar is we also need to add this widget over there so and this will make sure that our toolbar comes at the top instead of at the bottom and this is just a, like an inbuilt thing inside kiwi md uh, yeah so you don't need to worry too much about it so now let's reload it and you'll be able to see that our toolbar comes at the top and whenever we click on this menu item the slide comes out and whenever we click somewhere else it goes down and uh, there are a lot of things over here in uh, navigation drawer is going to be a lot of code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be dividing this navigation drawer part into a lot of videos like maybe two or three i'll see but yeah i think this was a pretty decent introduction and in the next video what we are going to learn is how to add stuff inside our navigation drawer so guys this is pretty much it for this video i'll see you in part two of navigation drawer